The challenge that we have, and I think that we share uh, within this group at, at Open Harvest, is how do we set the, the rules of the game well so that in that vision in 20 years' time, when we have all of that data around, that it is not focused in large monopolies, that it is made available for everybody to benefit from as much as we possibly can, um, and also with the right kinds of business models around it that mean that the organisations that are maintaining that data um, are sustainable and so that we can rely on that data being there uh, long term. In order to be able to innovate and to have any kind of scalable impact, we need to be able to discover data and integrate it and make, you know, derive bigger actionable knowledge from it uh, than we can with any single data set. So a global data commons will absolutely do that. Namuman Having a ecosystems of researchers that are supported by means that give them access to data of others and also of the methods that others have been using, that's very helpful and it will help change science in new ways, which we do not yet know how, which ways they will be. Some of the issues that came up during the, uh, the Open Harvest meeting this year that kind of particularly resonated with us were around issues of making open data open for a greater group of individuals, a greater constituency, addressing issues around data rights and ownership especially. I see some fantastic opportunities for collaboration among scientists who are willing to share data collaboratively globally to contribute to the benefit of all. There's going to be more data, it's going to be more digitally connected. People are going to be better connected. I'm hoping that some of the collaborations that I can see forming here will have been delivering. So we need actions to mature this whole area.